Good evening, this is John Milburn for Laws 19038, Planning and Environment Law, where well, we've reached week 12. Um, one of the things about this course is that I chose to have two assessment pieces by assignment. So no take home paper, no invigilated exam, and on the face of it, I guess that looks pretty easy. But there's always a trade off, and the trade off in this instance is that the assessment work is quite difficult. And I know that many of you have struggled with the assessment work. Um, but the structure of the assessments in many ways was designed to go backwards. So we look at the um, text, we then look at decided cases, we provide a commentary in relation to the case law, we provide some commentary in relation to legislation. And that's really providing some commentary about what has already happened. But then when we deal with the issue of the uh, potential appeal, I'm asking you to consider a hypothetical and that's really difficult because we're trying to create something and um, that requires a lot of uh, detail analytical thought about what's there and uh, whether it's right whether arguably it's not right it invites you to challenge to think about the regime to think widely as to how you might attack uh, what is presented in the material so that was the appeal process in the second assessment piece i can't say too much because it's uh, yet to be finalised. It finalised as 11.45 tonight. But what I can say in general terms is that this assessment piece requires you to look at much of the raw material. And that raw material is, is then forms the basis of the decision. So we're not looking at the decided case. We're looking at the orders that were made. We're looking at the raw material that led to the ultimate decision. If we had time, if I had another course to do, I would be asking you to create that raw material. So I'd take it one step further, but thankfully for you, we don't have to worry about that because that would be the hardest of all the assessment pieces that I could have considered. So thank you very much for your participation. I really do appreciate that many of you have worked very hard with your assessment pieces. I have not marked it, um, the assessment easily, so there won't be a lot of um, high marks. And I guess that's part of the fact that I come from the law school and in the law school, traditionally, we do mark um, very hard. So please forgive me for that, um, but thank you for your participation. When we get to the end of term every year, I offer a typing test. I assume no one wants to take me on in the typing test. I use um, drag and voice recognition, so it's just one thing that I always do. Um, Narelle, you don't want to take me on in that regard? How, how fast are you? Um, well, it's it's all by voice, so I don't actually use my hands at all. But um, I, I, as I speak, it types and it types accurately. So I'm pretty hard to beat. But um, I know that there have been a couple of really good typists that have tried to take me on, and um, invariably they, uh, well, I think I lost once. But uh, anyway, for the introduction to law school that I take, um, I always have a few takers in that regard. All right, well, thank you very much for your participation. If there's any questions, please ask through you, crew. If you want, you can send me an email direct. But if you do, um, send an email. Um, if you expect that the answer is one that I would probably, uh, you, you, your colleagues would like to know about, then probably best if you ask through you, crew. So unless there's any questions, uh, thank you for participation in the course and um, best of luck in the assessment piece. All the best.